Hello, my name is and Crafters Bogan Brump here with another episode on tutorial. Today we're going to start at the absolute basics. Perfect if you're a beginner. Let's get into it. So this is the screen you'll get once you've installed the Minecraft launcher and started running it. So what you'll usually have, you won't have all these profiles on here, but what you'll want is just the latest release. That's simple. To install other things, you'll need some extra steps. I use Optifine. We'll talk about that in another video. We'll talk about installing different profiles on different video, but all you'll have to do is press play and it will load up. So let's press play, we'll load the game up and we'll go from there. Okay miners and crafters, so once that's loaded up you'll see this screen. So what we're going to do is go through all of these. So what you'll need is the options. In the options you have the FOV or the field of view. I suggest leaving this on normal but moving these up and down will have different impacts on the game. You can also change this through an in-game in menu. The realms notifications, you'll get notifications from your realms, they'll go on or off. We'll talk about that later. The skins is how to change your skin. Let's have a quick look at that. Now on Optifine you can have different sort of things. Um, so go through that, just have a look. Um, video settings will change your video settings. Controls, this is one of the things that you may want to change. So this is how you're going to move in game. So in game, jump will be spacebar, sneak is the shift, left key, sprint is the left control, to strafe it uses A, D, backwards S for W, sort of like that's standard for a lot of games. So in the gameplay, the attack or the break button will be the left mouse button. The pick block button will be the middle mouse button. If you don't have a middle mouse button, you might want to change that to something else that's not used in here. The use item is the right button. We'll be using the um, attack button, pick block button, and the use button in this tutorial. So, in the inventory, by reset, by uh, default, sorry, this is the Q button, but I found that's too close to the A button and sometimes we press Q by accident, which can have some bad consequences. So I like to move that all the way away from the WSAD buttons to the P button. So you also have a hot bar, I'll explain later what that is. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to select those respectively. Um, to open and close your inventory is E. Um, to swap with your offhand is F. This is for Java, so it'd be different in Bedrock. Creative mode, we won't go into right now. Multiplayer, there's a few in there. You might want to just read through them if you are planning on playing on a server or a realm. Um, also, you might want to just read through the miscellaneous keys. It's the best way to get an idea of the controls is to read through these. So just familiar, familiarize yourself with those. Um, I suggest turning auto jump off. By default, it's on. So probably just turn that off just to make life a little bit easier. Okay, let's go into the game. I'll explain about resource packs in another video. And the music and sounds, you might want to adjust this at some point. You'll figure it out, you'll figure it out. So, also, 
this is the start. Now, Realms is a multiplayer option that Minecraft has, both on Bedrock and Java. So if we select on that, we can buy our own Realms. This is one of my friend's Realms. You can sort of just play on that. So, we can also select multiplayer to play on a server. There's some servers that I play on the Bowcraft server, our community game server for my stream, which the link for my stream will be in the description. So if we want to join one of them, we just select that and we join the server. If you are adding one for the first time and you don't think you'll play on a lot, you can use direct connection. Now you'll need the server IP. This obviously isn't a IP that's in use, so I'll just blur that out. And then you just click join server and it will take you straight into it. Simple. If it's a server that you think you're going to play on for a while, you can click add server. Now you can name it anything you want. It won't matter. But what will matter is the server IP. So you need the IP for the server that you are going to play on. And to enter it correctly in the server IP address, the server address section. Um, leave server resources packs prompts on and that would be that will prompt you if you need to download any resource packs and it will assist you with that. So let's get out of that. We'll get out of that. For this tutorial we're going to use a single player world. So what we're going to do is we're going to select single player and start. Now I have a lot of I have a few worlds. So you'll have none of these you'll have nothing so what you want to do first off is go click on the create new world button now you can name your world so let's name this world minecraft 101 so you have some options here you can select the game mode you can select survival hardcore creative in survival it's the mode you see usually. So you search for the resources, you craft, etc. Hardcore is the same as survival except once you die, you can't respawn. That is the only thing. Once you die, that is it. Game over. No more of that world. That world is finished. We have creative. So you have a creative inventory, we'll go through that in another video. But for this tutorial, we're going to do survival. So the difficulty, you have three different difficulties. Heart, you have peaceful, actually four. Peaceful, easy, normal, and hard. Now the differences in the difficulties are different depending what mechanics you're looking at within the game and we'll explain them as we go along. So peaceful means there's no hostile mobs. Absolutely no hostile mobs. So no zombies, skeletons, etc. And we'll explain about mobs when we get into the video. So there's easy, which is, you know, the mobs aren't that bad. There's normal, the mobs are a little bit harder. And there's hard, the mobs are a little bit harder. So for this tutorial, we're going to leave it on easy because we're going to be looking at a lot of things. Um, allow cheats, so you can allow commands like game mode and stuff like that. For this tutorial, I'm going to turn them on because I may need them. Data packs. Now, I'll go through data packs in a different video, but that's where you can add your data pack. Now, your game rules. These are all different... Um, game rules that you can play around with. Once, I suggest not doing this in your first game, but once you become a little bit more experienced with Minecraft, you may want to change some of these around. If you have the cheats on, you can do that through commands. So we'll go done and more world options. So what you can also do is play around with these. We want the generate structures on. You can choose a C, you can usually find that on Google world type you can play on a super flat and stuff like that but what we're going to do is we're going to just leave that on the default bonus chest 
Now bonus chests are, uh, it spawns a chest at the beginning, so for now we're going to leave that off and just play, you know, normal vanilla. You can also import settings from different world and stuff like that, so what we're going to do is just leave them normal, we're going to go back into there, we're going to go create new world, so this will take you into a new world. And once this is loaded, we'll get into it. Okay, so what you do is you will spawn close to, if you press the F3 key, it'll bring up what's called the debug menu or the F3 menu. Now you will see right here, there is an X, Y, Z. These are called your coordinates. This is the most important thing that you'll find. And this is how we remember how, where we are and stuff like that. So this is where we're spawned. You'll spawn fairly close to zero and zero usually. So until you have a spawn point, this is where you'll respawn. So the first thing you want to do in a new world is start making some tools. So what you'll do is you need to progress through the world. Let's have a look at the screen first and we'll go through that. So you have on here you have your health bar which is the hearts right here. You have your hunger bar which is here and you have your hot bar and your experience bar. Your health every time you take damage you'll lose a certain amount of hearts depending what mob hits you and stuff like that. Every time you run around you'll lose some hunger, every time you kill mobs or complete certain actions you'll get experience. And the hot bar is part of your inventory. We'll press E to open up our inventory. Now in our inventory we have, this is like our backpack, this is our pocket, this is our hot bar, this is our off hand or our shield hand, our helmet, chest plate, leggings, boot slot and we also have a crafting slot. We'll talk about how we go crafting. So what you want to do first off is probably find some wood. So it might take you a little while but what you want to do is find some trees. Here's some trees. Let's head over there. So to mine blocks you press the attack button while facing. You can see that they sort of highlight a little bit so what we're going to do is we're going to attack the wood until we get that. Now you'll see we have oak wood. Now in Minecraft things can be crafted into other things. Some things you need certain tools to mine otherwise they'll either drop nothing or you won't be able to do it. So you can mine dirt and stuff like that with nothing, no tools. So what we need to do to start making those tools is we'll go into our inventory. We can get some oak logs. In Minecraft, everything is based on blocks. So you get your blocks. You can put one of those in there. You can pick a whole stack up by pressing the attack button, the left mouse button and put a whole stack in there if you want. Or you can pick a whole stack up and press the right mouse button to just put one in. If you want to pick up half, you can press the right mouse button, pick up half of it, and that will be useful. So an oak log makes four oak planks. So that's what we want to do. This little book is our crafting recipes. So we can open that. Now this is all the stuff that you can craft. You don't have to remember the recipes. You can just press like this and it will select what you need. If you don't, if you want to see stuff that you haven't unlocked, you can press the X, it will show you everything. You press the tick, it will show you only stuff that you can craft. So what we want to do is make what's called a crafting table. So as you can see, we've only got four there. We need ones that will do a bigger one. So we can place that down 
using the place block button, which is our right mouse button. And then we use select the use button into there. Now we have a nine square, a three by three. So if we do that, we have a lot more things that we can craft because these things require more spaces. You can't craft that in a four by four. So what we'll do is we'll just do this. What we want to do is we want to make, we want to make some tools. So what we're going to need is we're going to need some sticks, just a few, and we do that using planks. So we'll do that. We'll put one there and one there to make sticks. We need some more planks. So there we go. If it doesn't show up new recipes, just exit the crafting grid and then get back. Now we've got all our tools. So what we're going to, what these tools are for is, we're gonna need a pickaxe, because we're gonna need to mine. We're going to need to mine out stones and stuff like that. We're gonna need a sword to fight off the enemies. And we will just make some more of these and sticks. Now if you shift, hold down shift and press it, it'll craft everything in there. So if you want to do that, then that would be easy. So we also need a shovel because I'll explain what that is. And we might also make an ax. An ax, so there we go. So. An axe is obviously for chopping down trees and anything that's wood. Crafting table is wood, let's do that. Now that's a little bit faster than punching it by hand. That's why we make tools to make it a little bit faster. Now, the shovel is quick. You see these leaves, they often decay. Thing, different blocks have different things that happen. So. Shovel is for things like sand. So what we're going to do, and the pick is for the hard things, for the set, for the stone and stuff like that, if that makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig down a bit. Now some are gravity blocks, sand is a gravity block, so as you dig, they're going to fall. If they fall on top of you, you die just start losing things. So what we want to do, usually when we start a new world, is start mining. Start mining. So you need mining and you need to f find food. So what we're going to do is just mine down there, that will drop down. Let's do that. So let's keep going. So as you can see, we get more and more resources. What we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit of stone, there we go, get some stone. So now what we can do is we can make better tools. We can make stone tools. So see, we use three wood and two sticks. We make, we use three stone and two sticks. So there we go. Now, we'll take that crafting table. Now, what happens if you don't use a pick for this? What happens? If you just do this, first of all, it takes a little bit, but once it's broken, it doesn't drop anything. Drops nothing. So you are going to need at least a wooden pickaxe for that. So let's see, let's talk about food now. Now some mobs you can kill for food. This will replenish your hunger bar. Some mobs don't drop food, so turtles, they won't drop food. They'll drop other things. You can click the use button or the attack while facing them. Now, the wooden sword doesn't do a lot of damage. You see, that's seagrass. You can't eat grass, you can't eat grass. So let's go and find some edible animals first.
Now, while we're just down here, I want to see bubbles. They are your air, that's how much air you have. So, once you start running out of air, you'll start taking damage. Like this. To refill it, just go up to the air. Just go up, get more air. That's it. Simple. So what you can do is just hold down shift and you can run across the water. Or you can make a boat and go across the water that way. So let's find some edible animals and we'll come back to the tutorial. Okay, so I found an edible animal. It's not great, but it's a chicken. So what you need to do is just Use the attack. Attack it. There we go. We've got some chicken. Now, you don't really want to do this because if it, you don't have any hunger off, it won't let you eat. But, if you just eat it, there you go. The raw chicken will give you sort of like a hunger effect, but it will restore one. And once you have some hunger restored, your hearts will be restored. So what you want to do is... Find something decent to eat. So, the best food in the game is early game, probably steak. So, if you find cows, you can then cook it using a furnace and coal. But to get the coal, you are going to need to mine. So, let's find a spot that we can mine. And we're going to start, start some mining. Okay, so here we go. Let's just mine. Let's mine. This is how you find some extra resources. Now down here you are going to find iron. You're going to find redstone. You're going to find lapis. You're going to find gold. You're going to find diamonds. Diamonds is what you need because that is pretty much the best that you can get. Let's turn my brightness all the way up. It already is up. But anyway, let's see. Let's keep going and once I get those, we will upgrade some of our tools. Okay, so here we are. I found some coal. So this is a coal ore. What we're going to do is mine that. And once we get some coal, we can make these torches. Now torches are important because host there are three types of mobs in Minecraft. There are hostile mobs, which will attack you no matter what. There are passive mobs, which don't usually attack you and there are neutral mobs which will only attack you under certain conditions we can go through a bit more of the neutral mobs the neutral mobs later but let's focus on the hostile and the passive mobs now for food you're going to want more of the passive mobs the hostile mobs can can spawn on a light level of less of seven or less so as you can see in our F3 menu, we look at client light. Now, client light is zero. We put down a light source like a torch. And look, our client light is 14 now. So no baddies are gonna spawn there. So what you're gonna want when you mine is to keep an eye on those client lights. Because if they go under set, go seven or lower, they can spawn. You might have to take a risk at first until you get enough coal but once you get enough coal you'll be able to light it up so what you what i usually do is i mine all the way down to y level 12 which i found is where you find more diamonds but what we want is the coal full of torches right now so let's do that and mine down a bit until we find a new wall Now, what you can do is you can put things in your offhand, which means 
to use these. If it does have a use purpose, that means you can press the use button block. You can just press the right button, the use button, and it will place it because the pickaxe has no use purpose. So you might want to keep some torches or you can press the F key to swap the highlighted with that. So then if I had a block in there, stone axe there, I could just place those. So let's swap those back, get some more coal, and we'll keep searching for those ores. Okay, so what's happened now is my pickaxe has broken. So what they do is they've got some durability. If you press F3, hold down F3 and press H, it'll turn, it'll turn on the tool tips. So that means that it'll show the durability. So we press F3, H, F3, H, there we go. Open up our inventory and now it'll show you like our durability. So that's what we want to see. And also this bar will help. So once it gets low, you know, you might want to consider making another one. Or if it's something you can't use, then yes. We're also going to need a furnace for later on. I'll explain why. So now we can make some sticks. We'll do that. You may want to take a fair bit of wood down with you. Um, just so you can make extra tools and extra torches. Sometimes you come across caves, which are fairly big. But yes, they need to need to be explored. So here we go. We found some iron. Now iron can only be mined with a stone pickaxe. Otherwise, it's going to be dropped. So we need three for a for a pickaxe. Now, to make the iron, what we did was, we'll make some room there. Why we had the furnace is because this is how you do it. You put your iron ore in there, you put some coal in there, you wait. And then it smelts into iron ingots. And then you can use that to make you can use that to make armor and you can make that use that to make all sorts of different things now the armor is a different one so there we go so leggings iron boots helmet stuff like that that's all you, that's pretty much you know and you can make anything you know that's better than iron I guess so we can just do that drop that Let's get the rest of this iron in case we need it. So there we go, some more coal. You also need a diamond pick in order to mine redstone, gold, um, diamonds. And diamonds are used to um, diamonds are I use to make a diamond pick, which is the only pick you can use to mine obsidian. So I'm just going to set the time, time set day. Okay, there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go find, find probably some food, some cows. There's ways that you can do you can automate the farms. I'm doing some farms tutorials and stuff like that. If you check out the card, there's some basic farms that you want to, you might want to start with. So let's see, let's find, let's find some cows or something. And then I will show you because you can cook the meat. Oh, here we go. We have some sheep. So what you need to do is find some sheep. What we're going to need is three wool. So we're going to need to find three sheep, which we have here. There we go. Sheep, they can drop 
different things. So what we do is this, chase it around. They will run from you. So there we go, we've got it. So we bring out our crafting table. And if we're like, yep, this looks like a good place to set our, set our base, what we can do is set our respawn point. So instead of dying, going back all the way to where we spawned in the world, we can use a bed. Now beds are very useful, not only for setting your spawn point, but passing the night. So when it comes night time, you can sleep and it will turn it into daytime. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a bed. We're going to chuck that down there. We're gonna sleep there. Now, cause it's day, we can't do it. But if we go time set night, it's night time now. So what we do is we sleep and there we go. We wait a little bit and turns into day. Now that means that there's light, so no nasties can spawn. So what we're also going to need is our furnace and our coal. You can use it anything that will burn, so wood, sticks, anything like that. But we're gonna we're gonna just use coal, and we can actually cook our food that we get from animals. Now you can breed the animals to make more stuff like that. Um, yeah, using different different things. A really good wiki is the Minecraft wiki. I will include that in the description. It has a lot of descriptions about lots of things in Minecraft. So that is sort of like the basics to get you set up. So the next thing I will be doing is going through how to finish the game, sort of what's the goals of the game. So that's sort of the thing that I'll be going through next. So you might also notice that I've got a number three above my experience bar. That means I have three levels. Things like enchanting and stuff like that is gonna cost levels. So that's what we're gonna do, um, do with those. So I will go through that with the net in the next video. But for now, feel free to make a base, explore the different blocks, and until next time, have fun mining, crafting, and exploring. Bye-bye.